my family has so my uncle I just realized this, but apparently my father's side of the family, like his father, um, they grew up in Western Maryland. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's why I was always like, why do we always go to this like property? So apparently my uncle Donald, I guess he's like my great, great uncle had this property in this town called Old Town, Maryland, which is right on the West Virginia border. It's all the way out in Garrett Garrett County. It's actually right on the border of uh, there's this town called Paul Paul, West Virginia. Mm-hmm. And the prop and the, the the border of West Virginia and Maryland is the Potomac River, so that's why Maryland's border is all fucked up. That's why Maryland's like fucking shaped like this all the time. Yeah, all the time. It's always shaped like all that. the time. All dude. the time. Never ever since fucking yeah. seventeen seventy six. <laughs> it's been shaped like it's doing a fucking Egyptian dance. <laughs> yeah, walking like an Egyptian. <laughs> and I'm driving out there, and the first thing I noticed was the drive out to Western Maryland is so much better than the drive out to Ocean City. Like, if you drive, and then I was thinking, like, damn, it's a three-hour drive to the edge of Maryland on the west, and it's a three-hour drive to Ocean City. Like, people in western Maryland, if they go to, like, Senior Week, they're driving six hours to the beach. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, dude. But it's beautiful. It's, like, all mountains and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And, like, I just, I was telling, I was explaining to my brother, I get so much, like, my, I remember when I was driving with my dad when I was a kid, he would just randomly go on these lectures and explain to me shit that I didn't care about. And so Dom's (laughs) sitting in the passenger seat, and I'm just explaining to him shit. That I know he didn't care about. I'm like, yeah. see, this, uh, see this button over here? This is the overdrive. You know, cars back in the old days, they didn't have this. <laughs> <laughs> You've given me that in my car before, or like when I'm driving with you. I'm not a car guy, but I know like three <laughs> things about cars that most people don't, and I just yeah. let them rip. Let them rip. <laughs> but you've seen a couple pop up on Uber facts yeah. on Twitter. <laughs> I'm going to tell someone this. And so... I turn off the overdrive when I'm going down hills because it's easier on the brakes. So I'm doing that on the way out. I go the wrong way, of course. But anyway, so it's right on the border. It, literally, the farm, you you leave the back roads. The back roads are like dirt roads. There's no not even any cell phones. So is it there. still like, is the property still in your family? Or you just like have permission from the new owner? So or is it public land? The original property was owned by my great uncle. Mm-hmm. And then he sold that property. But when he did, in the 80s, my uncle my dad's cousin so i guess he's my first cousin once removed technically my dad's first cousin uncle kenny which is a great hunting uncle name uncle yeah. kenny he bought or and he and his father my uncle ko bought this other property that was like literally across the street and uh then they had to like basically do everything they had to like run, get electricity ran out to it they yeah. had to they built the house there there's like a big house they built they got like a septic tank and shit like that well water all kinds of stuff like yeah. that and they did that back in the 80s. And so ever to since... To live or just to have like a hunting cabin? Just to have like a hunting cabin. I think my Uncle Kenny goes up there like once a, well, a week, honestly. Yeah. Just all the time, just to fucking get <laughs> away. Kenny meet up there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dude, there is nothing going on that. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So I mean, the, that's what I kind of like picked up from like interacting with like at least older hunters. Uh-huh. It seems kind of like the, like, you know, get away from your wives club. Absolutely. It's kind of just like, yeah. I kind of appreciate the fact Which that there's fine. still no. I mean, it is. I mean, it, it, you need that. I think you need that. I'm not yeah. married, but I'm assuming you need that. And uh, it's, I'm not married, but I fucking hate my wife already. <laughs> yeah, I'm already <laughs> staying away from her. <laughs> I'm actively avoiding my future wife right now. <laughs> She's pissed. I've been hunting my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you get up there, and so. The, you go down on the main road, and literally within one second, you're in West Virginia. And the sign that they have crossing over the bridge of the Potomac, very small bridge, into Paul Paul, West Virginia, is a sign that says, Paul Paul, West Virginia, hometown of Josh DeLauder. That's what it says on the sign. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Yeah. And I can't, can't Google it because we don't have any internet or anything. Yeah, have Which, you since Googled it? Yeah, we Googled it. We had to wait, like, we had to drive for, like, 45 minutes on the way back. And then yeah. finally I was like, Dom, like, out of nowhere, I was like, Dom, Google it. Josh DeLauder. <laughs> Dom, like, wrote it down on his phone. I was like, we're good. we've been seeing this every year for 28 years. <laughs> Never <laughs> actually managed to remember. Turns out Josh DeLauder is... The PTA president, <laughs> Paul Paul Middle. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking, like, what? This is a town of like five hundred yeah, people. What are his accolades? And I was, we were thinking, like, what did he do? Like, in a yeah. town like he this, he worked on the Manhattan Project. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you have to do in a town this small to get that? He was a key player in bringing over ex-Nazi scientists to work for <laughs> NASA. <laughs> Like, this what? guy's huge. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ! <laughs> From Paul Paul. <laughs> 
So we Wikipedia it, which is not a verb. I don't think anybody says mm-hmm. that. You don't Wikipedia something. It's too long. We wikied it. And it turns out... <laughs> still wrong. <laughs> still wrong. I'm trying to make that one work. We wikied it. And uh turns out Josh DeLauder is the lead scorer in West Virginia high school basketball history. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lead. claim to fame. <laughs> He's an ex-high school basketball player. From 2000. So Fuck for 20 yeah. years. Damn, this- <laughs> that was pre-9-11, dude. They were on their high horses back then. Can you imagine? That guy's like 40 years old now, I'm imagining. Oh, yeah. And or whatever West Virginia ages would be. He basically has like a permanent billboard up. It kind of makes me wish that I grew up in a town like that because how easy would it be to do that? Yeah, how easy it was to impress people. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting in there. the entire town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I was, and then and then I realized I was like, Dude, damn, we're probably the biggest podcast in uh, Paul, Paul? Timonium. <laughs> yeah, easily the biggest podcast in Timonium. Although uh, my bandmate Joe Niehaus has taken to producing podcasts as well. Um, he actually applied for a job for producing in like a radio studio. Nice. And uh, they, he said they got down to the last two and they picked the other guy because he had more experience. Was it you? It's <laughs> <laughs> it it like, Joe, dude, I'm, I need this, bro. <laughs> Joe, I need this. <laughs> it wasn't me, no shag. <laughs> but then, I, yeah, I, I, Paul Paul is an interesting town. Like I said, there's no internet, there's no nothing. It's, it's cool to me that there still exists places like that, you know? Mm. It kind of takes you away. I mean, it but was, I mean, is it like? I feel like old t- towns like that are kind of like when you drive through them, they almost feel like left behind. Like they're not like in the best shape. Yeah, a lot yeah. of houses look kind of bad. I the all the businesses like in the past times we've gone down there. I remember like one year we went down there. We went to this like place and got pizza, and then there was this other, there was a sign that said, Big and Tiny's Tavern, best wings in town, and I was like, Hell yeah. they're probably the only wings in town, yeah. like, they're, they're I could terrible. I saw a gas station, <laughs> a Liberty gas station, and I saw a Dollar General, mm-hmm. and then, that was it, we, when we first got there, I was like, before we show up to there, I want to get some food, and we drove around that town for, like, 35 minutes, and couldn't find anywhere to eat, except, Jesus. except for this one place that was called something's family restaurant and we were like all right i guess we're going here we walk up and the sign says please wear masks to enter and i was already thinking like i'm imagining towns like this probably don't give too much of a fuck about it but the sign did say please wear a mask we, we did and we walked in we walked in and just all the staff was just like not wearing them and i was just oh okay, <laughs> I okay. Was like, okay. cool 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 keeping up with appearance yeah this makes more sense this makes more sense the food was pretty good but overall, it was it was uh it, I really as I get older, I've started to really enjoy those trips. Like, Septic yeah. tanks are wild, dude. They I was my uncle was explaining to me about how they have to like put some kind of shit into it so that it eats the yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Or like, else... you have to introduce like a bacteria to like break down like the ethanol and shit or whatever like the smelly stuff is, mm-hmm. or like whatever the bad bacteria that could like, methane i yeah, think methane. something i don't even know yeah it's the same that stuff's stuff, crazy yeah the same stuff that cows are guilty for ethanol is what they put in gas i think which is another weird thing about the west virginia gas station because they had like more options that i was used to <laughs> they also had kerosene though nice and i was like dude i got my new spot dude i'm good there you go Just but drive uh, three hours to yeah. fill up the heater i got harford harford road and i got Paul Paul, Paul West Virginia. Paul West Virginia. <laughs> Those are my two spots. But uh, yeah, it was like 10% ethanol, 20% ethanol. And I was like, dude, I yeah, don't... Mint flavor. Where's... Re- <laughs> Man, mango. <laughs> mango. <laughs> Great. Vitamin enhanced. Gas. Uh, I was like, yeah. what the hell is this, dude? Just give me Antioxidants. Fucking- <laughs> I didn't want to ask because whenever, whenever I go to a place like that, like I'm usually in my... Like around Baltimore, I'm in my element. I have like... My you know niche. your spots. I know my spot. Yeah. Like, and even, not even just geographically, I'm talking more like socially. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like I enjoy hanging out in the art, like the comedy circles and the music circles, mostly the comedy circle mm-hmm. because I'm like the broest bro in the comedy circle, you mm-hmm. know, like, but if I go into like a bro circle, I'm like not a bro, you know yeah. what I mean? But I get to be a bro in the comedy circles. 
So I'm in my element. I get to, I have my niche. When I go out to those places and I'm hanging out with all these like hunter dudes and like all wearing camo, it's like I instantly feel like a bitch. Yeah. And I don't want to feel out of place for sure. Completely. I feel like I'm like, damn, I'm going up here. They're all fucking talking about sitting in stands. They got like shit all over their face and like, yeah, I saw a deer come out that yeah. seven pointer. And then like, it's cold as shit, but you can't complain yeah. because like, you should be the warmest one. You're one of the youngest people yeah. there. I'm young. I'm <laughs> fucking vibrant. Not fi- I don't know what the fuck that word is. But yeah, I just I just instantly feel like I do. It's I just feel not. Ma- I feel emasculated. You mm-hmm. know, because I don't have anything to offer. You know, I don't yeah. have anything to contribute to it. So especially when I go to the gas station, it's like, what am I going to do? Ask somebody what kind of gas my car takes <laughs> what kind of ethanol what in kind it of or gas no? my fucking nissan altima in paul paul west virginia takes and everybody else is driving around fucking like literal like ford f-150s from 1960 <laughs> yeah, some t models yeah like i don't fucking know but uh so i didn't or ask model t's so let's just hope no. i was like 10 percent sounds right I was thinking like, well, you know, that's the lowest amount. So if my car doesn't like <laughs> ethanol, at least I gave it the littlest amount possible. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because I know like when you go to a gas pump, it'll be like regular. is like 87 mm-hmm. on the button. And yeah. Like 89 and like 91 or whatever yeah. for premium. And those are octane levels, I think. I got fucking know dude i just get regular gas <laughs> yeah regular gas never gotten anything but regular yeah. gas all i know is regular is 87 87 what i don't know i don't fucking know 87 percent gas <laughs> 87 percent the good stuff yeah my car takes 87 proof gasoline listen i like my hamburgers 80 20 and my car's gas 87 baby <laughs> <laughs> i'm a b student <laughs> stay right in that mid zone <laughs> Yeah, I know that has to do with octane or something. Apparently, I was uh, somebody told me in passing that uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Someone told me on their deathbed. Rest in peace, <laughs> this person who told me this thing. I haven't their dying breath. <laughs> I haven't looked it up in in respect for them. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to disprove. I don't want to debunk a dying man's <laughs> fact. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> no. I live my whole life. My life was a lie. I live my whole life thinking that if you have a normal car, you're not supposed to put higher premium gas in it. That's like not something you're supposed to do. I yeah. always I think it's just like, not worth it. Like I think you can put it in there, but it's you're not going to get any any like yeah. effect out. You're of You're just it. paying for top shelf. I know. Um, for my mom's car, her like Acura. They told her at the dealership, like, hey, you have to use, like, the mid-grade gas. Dang. Like, you can't put regular in it. And I don't know the reason behind that, but it was something to do with, like, somehow it's, like, cleaner. And it, like, doesn't gunk up the engine as quick or something. I'm going to make something up, but I don't, Go for it. <laughs> I don't think I'm making this up. But Dude, I... You better be fucking making this up. <laughs> or it better be this dying man's wish. Yeah. I can't confirm this, but this is what that man would have wanted. <laughs> I believe that the higher octane your fuel is, the more it takes to burn it, mm-hmm. and so the more energy you get out of it. Okay. I think race fuel is so high octane that you can't even light it with a match. Hmm. It takes like an extreme amount of like something to get it going. Weird. I'm literally just stringing together random <laughs> things I've heard throughout my life. <laughs> Working in the hospice. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a lot of things, dude. It's hard to piece them all together, but I know they fit. <laughs> yeah, mostly gasoline related, surprisingly, but you learn a lot. <laughs> yeah, dude, so that was a nice experience. I came back uh, fun. after a day of no service to... Uh, Four text messages. No service three. <laughs> Little Wayne. Jimmy Celeste. <laughs> no service. <laughs>